Welcome to the first webinar of uh, PDM Analysis uh, Limited uh, for this Rankin 2020 conference. And this uh, webinar is about uh, CFD analysis of uh, twin screw machines. Uh, in today's webinar, we will uh, introduce presenters, talk about uh, uh, SCORG and CFD analysis a little bit, uh, tell something about fe features and uh, uh, show you some applications for expanders and other uh, machines. Uh, today's presenters are myself. I'm Professor Ahmed Kovacevic at, uh, from City University of London and I'm Director of PDM Analysis and Dr. Sham Rane, who is a Senior Research Fellow at City University and one of the main people in uh, uh, PDM Analysis who is developing SCORG. Uh, PDM Analysis is the company that was spun out from City University uh, of London in 2014 to exclusively uh, license and uh, develop SCORG uh, software that uh, we started and developed at City University from uh, late 1990s and then firstly commercialize it from uh, uh, City University. <clears throat> And then from uh, 2014, we are commercializing, the uh, City University is commercializing that through a company called PDM Analysis, who we represent today. Uh, SCORG is the uh, unique software for design and analysis of positive displacement machines, uh, including screw compressors, expanders and pumps, internally and, and externally geared machines, vein compressors, expanders and pumps, roots blowers, gear pumps and some other machines. And uh, it is uh, used for CFD analysis, thermodynamic analysis and some other means of analysis of these machines. Uh, the structure of SCORG is uh, shown in this slide. And on the left-hand side, you can see modules, uh, which are basically profile and gen geometry analysis module, thermodynamic or lower uh, uh, order uh, chamber model, and then a module for uh, 3D CFD analysis of uh, screw machines. Uh, the first module uh, is used to um, import or generate profiles uh, and importing or uh, profiles could be from a, a data file or from a CAD system <laughs> and then uh, it is used to set up the machine uh, as you want it to be and to calculate uh, chamber volume areas and uh, other um, uh, important elements which are required for second thermodynamic chamber model. A uh, thermodynamic chamber model could be run uh, internally in SCORG or uh, by uh, some other software, by, uh, which uh, in, in this case, this is a GT suite. So it could be either uh, internal or external uh, thermodynamic model uh, to calculate gas pressure and temperature leakages, uh, power flow rates, forces, and uh, obviously boundary maps that is later used for CFD analysis and finite element analysis of the machines. And then the, the latest model, uh, which is a, a CFD mo a module, is for grid generation of um, uh, meshes for screw machines and then pre-processing to be used for variety of CFD solvers like Symerix, uh, uh, ANSYS CFX and Fluent, Star CCM Plus from Siemens and OpenFOAM. And I will now hand uh, in to Sham uh, to talk about uh, in more details about uh, CFD modeling using SCORG. The CFD modeling consists of a solution domain, which is a representative of the problem that we are solving. And in this case, which is to with compressors or expanders, uh, it basically consists of uh, different domains. For example, what you see here is a suction port, which is aligned here, and a discharge port, which is here. And in, in between the two domains is the main deforming chamber, which is the rotor domain. Because these are positive displacement machines, the rotor domain deforms with time and the enveloped volume between the lobes of the rotor squeezes in order to decrease its volume. 
in addition to this uh, common domains you can also have depending on the design of the machine some liquid injection such as oil or liquid refrigerants the biggest challenge in the 3d cft modeling of uh, twin screw machines is how to generate the computational mesh for the rotors and scourge is a unique software tool that enables to generate the mesh by using the rotor profiles as the base and then some parameters which can be defined to control the size of the mesh and its structure in this particular example what you see is a structure called as single domain conformal mesh in which case the grid which is enveloping the rotors remains fixed in space as you see here and there is no interface in between the two rotors thus ensuring highest accuracy of the flow solver additionally the leakage volumes in terms of tip leakage interlobe leakage and the blowhole areas are accurately captured within the grid generation on top of this you can also have the end leakages which can be the actual faces and can be generated uh, through external grid generators once the rotor grid is generated it is connected to the ports in the, into the solver and then we go into the solution in terms of cft solution several solvers are available as options uh, scorch grids are readily connectable to ansys cfx ansys fluent uh, star ccm plus simerix mp and the latest in the line is open foam solver in this particular example you can see the pressure solution on the surface of the rotor and it is a compressor so you can see during the discharge the highest pressure is seen in the discharge port you can see the flow velocity vectors which represent the pulsation occurring in the port and also the dynamic losses associated with non-uniform velocities this example is of a twin screw expander running with r245 fa and r134a fluids within scourge the geometry module allows you to calculate the chamber volume as you can see here and also the inlet and the exit areas which can be used to generate theoretical ports so in the initial design phases when you don't have the real geometry of the expander you can work with theoretical ports and built in volume index can be set as per the design in this example we have used different equation of states such as the peng rockinson redlich kuang and sober redlich kuang and in addition also the refprof database can be coupled directly with the flow solver in order to see the accuracy of the solution a grid a typical grid in the cross section of the rotor is shown here this is the male rotor and the gate rotor and as you can see the nodes are connected one to one between the two rotors which is an example of a single domain conformal mesh it's quite unique to scorch uh, as a grid generator and it enables a robust solution enabling good stability of the solver and also giving a high accuracy of flow and power estimates here you can see the results of pressure distribution using refprof fluid for r245 fa and this is the temperature distribution in pressure there is a lot of uniformity within the chamber but you can see it is not the case with temperature due to leakage flow and non uniform temperature it can be accurately captured using the cft model there are some uh, advanced examples such as oil injected compressors as you can see in this uh, video the oil is treated as a secondary phase and the gas of compression is the primary phase and the whole solution is solved using two phase euler euler solution this particular example is from the ansys cfx solver here you can see some uh, non conventional rotors such as variable lead type where there is a larger lead on the suction end and a lower lead on discharging or a conical rotor so these designs are not yet available in manufacturing but they can be easily computed using scorch grid generator similarly you can have a dual lead rotor or some external gear pump examples could be solved furthermore you can explore variety of configurations such as multiple gate rotors multiple uh, screw machines internally connected pin screw rotors as you see in this example or a different type of machine such as vane compressors and expanders as you see here and the latest solver which we have integrated in scourge is the open foam solver uh, the advantage with open foam is that it is a uh, open source code and then you can directly use it with scourge grids through the user routines which are available with the solver the examples which are presented here are roots floor and twin screw compressors thank you